couple of years ago, I was headed home from work and I was driving behind this one car for maybe four or five miles. After not too long, it became pretty evident that this guy most likely had way too much to drink. He was swerving toward the white line and then correcting himself and swerving to the double yellow, double yellow and then back to the middle and then doing that again and again. So I got on my cell phone and I called the police. I said, hey, I'm not totally sure, but I think this guy in front of me is pretty, pretty well drunk. So I gave him the license plate number, description of the car, location, direction of travel. And uh, I got a call later on that night and they said, yeah, the guy was drunk. They followed up and they wanted me to come in to fill out a, a witness report, just to kind of anonymously report that I had been the one who called this guy in. When I think of situational awareness, I often go to that place of I'm walking in a town or a city where I'm not super familiar with my surroundings. And, and so I'm thinking about the alleyway that's coming up, the cars around me, maybe the people in front of me or behind me on the sidewalk. But I want to encourage us all to think about situational awareness while you're driving. If you were on this lonely New Hampshire road and a car had gone off because there's black ice and it was down in a ditch and it was a medical situation where you needed an EMT or an ambulance immediately, would you have the wherewithal to call and say, hey, here's where I am, my location, my direction of travel, some of the mile markers I'm near, the town I'm in, the county I'm in, maybe I'm just north of that waterfall or I'm just south of that overpass. See, because if you're aware, and then when you make that call, you can tell the emergency experts who are coming to help with that situation, well, they're going to be able to get there more quickly and help those people more quickly. So let's be aware, not just when we're walking down the street, of all the different situations that may be popping up, but let's have situational awareness when we're driving in our cars. Every couple of minutes, just take a look around. Do I know what road I'm on, my direction of travel, things like that. Because as we know, very rarely do we get to choose the situations. More often than not, we come upon them, or they just end up falling right into our lap. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the video. Take care.